Hey Scorpio, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your March love reading, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. Let's see what's going on with Scorpios in March for love. I'm going to start off with the, the Star Seeker Tarot. I'm not going to do any reversals, so if I get reversals, I'm just going to flip them upwards. Let's see what's going on with Scorpios in love for March. This is March 2021, but if you guys find this at another time, it is a timeless reading and take it as it resonates. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe and say hello and I will say hi back. All right, let's see what's going on with Scorpios here. We've got eight of wands. I just got this for, um, for Aquarius. You guys could be dealing with an Aquarius. There's movement, there's communication, there is um, an exchange, an energetic exchange going on here, okay? And we've got temperance. So this could be with a Sagittarius. Um, this is something that's going to really heal a situation, really balance it. It's also something that you may have been waiting for a really long time with. If you are feeling very impatient, this is saying to keep being patient, keep, keep things very even keel. And also if you do communicate with this person, try to really keep yourself very even keel because it could be a very charged um, communication. And so this is saying to just keep it balanced as much as possible, okay? We've got the hang one, which is the hangman. So this is Pisces energy. So you could be dealing with someone that's a Pisces, a Sagittarius, or they have both in their chart, but they're, you, I feel like you're going to definitely be hearing from this person and it's going to, um, kind of shake things up that have been sort of stagnant for a while. This could also be that this person has had some like epiphanies. They've been in this space of like, kind of just allowing things to sort of come to them. And they've had some things that they have like downloads that they want to communicate to you, okay? I feel like they've kind of left you in limbo and now they're coming back. This could even be someone that's sort of been like in and out of your life. This is another card about patience and waiting and timing, okay? So um, this is a very interesting card. I love the imagery of this Three of Wands. So I definitely feel like you guys have done a lot of soul searching in this time. This could have been like a connection where you felt like you really had a connection and this person let you left you hanging and you sort of went through the dark night of the soul where you had to like dig deep within yourself and figure out what was the point of this, why did this all happen? And I feel like you've done so much soul work and now suddenly this person might be returning, okay? And we've got seven of swords and I feel like they really kind of messed you up. They did some really deceptive things. They weren't in a great space and I also feel like you guys took this on as like it was your fault and so the the heaviness they brought to your life was really um detrimental to you and I feel like the hang one was like they really left you hanging and you had to go through some really transformational stuff and it was actually their issue but they made you feel like it was your fault okay Let's get two more here. Look, we've got Scorpio energy, death, and we've got six of cups. And it was almost like the death of your innocence, okay? Because six of cups I see as a very innocent childlike card. It's also that kindred soulmate connection. So you guys could have been really like hopeless romantics before this person and they made you feel like that innocence was gone. You had to let go of a part of your childhood. You had to let go of a part of your soul because of this person. They really... um. They really messed you up here. And, you know, we have Scorpio energy. Let's get one more card for what their deal was. It's very interesting reading, Scorpio. Okay, there was something karmic here. So uh, this is Libra energy. Unfortunately, this could have been some past life karma that you had to clear up. But this was also karma because they thought they were just kind of getting away with this. And I feel like this ended up affecting them as well. And this ended up actually helping you more than you think. So actually things are balancing and we've got justice and temperance, which are both like you see both the cups pouring into each other and then both of the cups here. So I feel like this situation is all to bring balance to both of your lives in a weird roundabout way. Very interesting, Scorpio. All right, let's get some more energies on that. I'm going to pull from this Dragon Oracle cards. 
Scorpio and see what other kind of energies we've got going on here. Oops. Okay, we've got black dragon cocoon so that you could so that your divine potential grows meditate reflect undergo a metamorphosis that's what you guys did you were forced to almost be alone so you had to like change everything within you so it's like they shine the light back on you and even though it was their issue this forced you to go through this huge transformation internally wow Fire dragon. So this could have been a fire sign you were dealing with. We already had Sagittarius energy. Burns up the lower energies around you. You are safe and protected. Be determined and inspired. Clear your soul pathway. So what I feel this person did was sort of like shook up your root chakra. They made you feel unrooted. They made you feel like you had to really think about your place in the world, your sense of safety, because with that seven of swords, like they deceived you. And so then you had to find this like grounded energy within yourselves, um, this earth energy to balance out the fire. So I feel like you, you found your sense of root, your sense of being settled, regardless of whatever situation is happening around you. And then we have silver lunar dragon bathes you in divine feminine light. So I feel this could have been your twin flame. And it's almost like, they woke you up to this divine feminine journey. Come into balance and practice peace, harmony, and cooperation. Expand your casual ca causal chakra. So that's what I'm saying is this situation actually brought you a lot of balance. But um, I'm talking a lot about the past here and what happened with this dynamic. So I want to get into the current energies and what what's happening here now. So what is this person want to communicate to you Scorpio this is from what he didn't say the um from rising I mean this is what he didn't say to from rising sun oracle sorry what does this person want to communicate to you I feel your sadness and longing for me but I am unable to comfort you so this person like has really made you have to rely on yourself and in some ways they're still unavailable let's see Regardless of the terrible outcome we have suffered, I thank you for the lessons that they brought me, okay? So this person had to, like I said, this affected them too. I'm curious as to why they can't comfort you. I have learned about our connection and what it means to be your divine counterpart. So this person is realizing that you guys are still on this journey. You're still doing self-discovery. They are acknowledging you are twin flames, okay? Interesting. Is my love enough? Wow. So that's what it is, is that they might feel like this wound in you is not enough. Like they can't take away that wound. So it could be that you guys still have ways that you need to heal on your own. They're just shining the light back on the areas that you still have yet to heal. I'm going to pull from doubts of divine masculine because it seems like they definitely have doubts about themselves and their capabilities of stepping up as the kind of partner that they think you would need, right? So what is this person's doubts? I still don't even know what I want out of life, okay? So that is a huge thing is that they can't be your counterpart because they're lost within themselves. They're like lost in the woods. They could be struggling financially, not knowing what to do with their life when it comes to work. They don't know who they are. They don't even know if they could be, maybe they think that you want a husband or a wife and children. Maybe they don't feel like they can play that part either. I don't know if I'm good enough for you. Wow, this is the second time this person has said that. So they feel like you're out of their league. So they have some insecurities that they have not resolved. That is um, so clear here. Is my love enough? I don't know if I'm good enough for you. So this is a very clear message, Scorpio, from this person. I have a lot of addictions you don't know about. Okay, so maybe you guys do know about some of their addictions, but maybe there's some that you don't know about. Um you know, and maybe you don't know about any of them, but they're, they have addictions that they use to cope with this feeling. And so they don't, they couldn't comfort you because they don't even know how to comfort themselves. All right. 
All right, Scorpio, that is your reading. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you enjoy my reading, please let me know and like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.